Students across the country walked out of their classrooms. Today marks 19 years since the deadly mass shooting at Columbine. Students here in San Diego joined thousands of their peers in cities big and small nationwide to protest gun violence. When you're too young to vote, this is what demanding change looks like. On this day of remembrance, students chose to take a stand against gun violence by walking out of class. Yeah, it's fine. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Why are you here today? Uh, I'm here to uh, protest the, the shootings uh, across the nation and to support my students. There's always been gun violence and it's terrifying and we need to make a change and it hasn't been happening. So we're using our voices to empower each other and to get Congress and our representatives to make action. I think the message that is being sent here is really important, especially amongst young people. I'm here today because I think it's so important to come out and voice our opinions, especially at such a young age. I'm here today to support gun control and help end gun violence. So I'm here to register high schoolers to vote because we really want high school kids to get involved in our country. Why did you organize this event today? Um, I organized this event today um, because it's important to me that we have gun laws, stricter gun laws. I don't want to see any more kids on the news getting shot down in their school. I don't want to have videos spread around Twitter of kids getting shot in their classrooms. It's ridiculous and it's time for a change. I felt that it was really important for students to have this opportunity to walk out of their classrooms and speak up for change and for gun violence prevention. And um, I didn't see anyone else doing it. So Alex Middleton and I stepped up to take on the role of organizers um, because we believe that this is an opportunity and a feeling, the feeling of being powerful and knowing you, you can make a change that everyone deserves. How does this issue affect you? This issue affects me because it terrifies me. I mean, I remember when Sandy Hook happened when I was in fifth grade and I was horrified. I would always look outside the door to make sure that there wasn't someone coming to shoot my classroom up. And I was 11 years old. My first uh, teaching assignment in New York City I had a student bring a gun to school, and um, fortunately uh, it was a small school and news spread quickly, and uh, uh, we corralled the student, but it was a, a, a colleague and myself corralled the student in the hallway, and uh, the situation was diffused before anything bad happened. Uh, but, you know, this is my 19th year in teaching, and ever since that day, uh, which was the first year of my teaching career, I keep my classroom door locked. When my dad was younger, he lived right next to a girl that shot up a school in San Diego, California. And um, my, his sister was friends with this girl. So it's really close to home that there are people that you know and they can just do something like that. It's horrible. Why do you think it's important that the youth partake in political discussions? I think it's important because we are the future and we are the ones who are going to vote. And we have a voice too. We are impacted by this. You have different perspectives than the rest of us, and we want to hear them. The reality is we're the next generation. We're going to be voting soon at the next election, and it's important for us to get involved with it and to know what's going on so we can be educated when it's our time to make these decisions for ourselves. It's important because the youth needs to speak out. If you don't speak out, then nobody's going to listen. If you just have these opinions and you keep them to yourself, nobody will know, and there won't be any changes that will ever happen.